Hey guys, Bob McBride, Black Powder TV. Yes, Bob McBride. Uh, you probably don't recognize me with the uh, the big scraggly mountain man beard. Uh, finally had to tame that sucker. So sorry it's been so long since since we've seen each other. I really apologize. It's been about a month. Um, I've been archery deer hunting, archery turkey. I mean, there's no place for it on Black Powder TV. So. On that note, um, I am starting a separate channel, so I have a place to put all of that. Uh, it's gonna be Bob McBride Films, uh, tentatively, that's the name of it. And we'll be able to get that archery turkey, that archery deer, crow hunting and and um, and dove hunting and pigeon hunting and, and all the stuff. So there'll be a place for that. This is gonna be uh, still my primary, and we'll get back to once a week on this, but we'll also be doing once a week during the hunting season on Bob McBride Films, but it's not gonna inter interfere with this and what's going on here, so um, just be aware of that. Uh, but the reason why I'm here today is we are going to go crow hunting. We're gonna go decoy some crows with old Caroline, right? The Carolina gun, the 20 gauge trade gun. So we're gonna get that bad boy out. We're gonna go set up some decoys. Um, we're gonna get the e-caller out, call in those crows, and we'll see what we can do. I went out, I took the, uh, what I take the um, I took the Franke out the 20 gauge uh, the other day and just lit them up. It was a it was a ton of fun. So me and Dad went out yesterday. Didn't do so well. They're smart. Crows are smart. They come. They scout around. They may land in the trees. They're looking for anything out of place. So they're a tough hunt, and uh, and we have tons of them. So it's a pest control thing, helping the state out. The fewer crows, right? The fewer. Um, uh, starlings there are, the more of our native species there are. So starlings and crows are mean birds. They run other birds out. They raid other birds' nests. They they destroy other birds' eggs. I mean, it, it, controlling the starlings and controlling the crows is part of conservation of our habitat. Coyote hunting. We have a coyote problem. When you have a coyote problem, you lose all your quail. You, you lose unbelievable numbers of animals that, that live and nest on the ground. Coyotes need to be controlled, all of that. So that's what that's what we're doing with the hunting segment of this uh, channel and also the other channel. So be ready for that. We're gonna get our stuff together. I'm gonna get out of this camo and get into some Max 5 and we'll come over here with the uh, GoPro. And I'll be filming this with, uh, most of these hunts will be filmed with the GoPro, the eight, and I've got a nine on the way too because it's got a screen on the front. It's easier to vlog, but it'll probably be because it's misty, it's wet, it's cold. Uh, this main camera probably isn't going to go out a whole lot unless unless the conditions are just right. I'll get you on the uh, GoPro. We'll go over here and I'll show you the decoys and, and the e-collar and what we're going to do, and then we'll head out. So we'll see you in a few. Um, all I brought out and and put in new bags was the Dove and the crow so far and so we've got a dozen crow decoys and i find a dozen is plenty for that and um and we got dove we got spinners and and uh, mojos and all of that for dove i will show you real quick since we're talking about it um what you can look forward to on the other channel is going to be a shooting channel and just a rural kind of life channel um so modern shotgun shells turkey loads, some of my chokes. Um, we've got the uh, Franke Affinity 3, 20 gauge with the dot sight, that's fun. And then we've got the Benelli SB3 um, with the shot cam. So we'll get a lot of shot cam footage. Main reason why I showed you that is I am working on a retrofit to get the shot cam on the flint locks. Uh, the shot cam locks on the barrel of a 12 gauge 28 you know 20 whatever they got different diameter brackets and um i'm not quite sure how i'm going to manage that um on these even though i am going to figure it out so i'm going to get a shot cam because um uh, on these flint locks because they're unbelievable if you've never seen a, a shot cam uh, there's a few guys jordan's harvest bobby guy films uh, that do a lot of wing hunting uh, you can pop over there and see the, the shot cam uh, footage. It's got a reticle on it. You can see where you're aiming um, versus where your impact was and all of that. It's great for skeet and, and, and wing hunting, but um, I think it's going to be real useful for flintlocks, even uh, deer hunting and, and turkey hunting and that. So 
uh, really cool thing. We'll get that going. I'll figure out how to retrofit that on uh, these flint locks so we have that view too. Uh, because like I said, we'll leave the main camera here in the shop and we'll be taking the GoPro 8, GoPro 9 mostly. Um, if I can get away with it, uh, I think it's going to be okay. But, you know, who knows? That That's the game plan. And so basically this video, besides the turkey, the, uh, the crow hunt we're fixing to do, uh, is getting us going on black powder hunting season. So let's get out there. All right, fellas. So it's 18 hours later. As soon as I got done filming that first segment, um, the sky dropped out and it just started pouring. So we're, we're, we're the next morning. Um, yeah, it's not too early. It's about 11 o'clock. Uh, overcast, but fairly bright. And we're out here on one of the top pastures. Uh, the garden area backed up uh, behind us and we have a deer one of our deer stands up here small little field here that follows down to the barn and this fence line right here um, has some young muscadines on it a couple year old muscadines and so we're going to hide behind this muscadine right here and um, and set up right here Got the e-collar, got my bucket, a little something to drink, some beef jerky. There's our decoys, ready to go, bag horn, and some number five shot. We're going to use number five. Um, these, uh, these crows are pretty big, so uh, it'll make it easier. Use kind of a heavy load. The range, I don't know if you can see over there. But there's a gate and an umbrella. That's the uh, rifle part of the range, and the range goes back toward the uh, the hill there. And we're underneath uh, a bunch of big, beautiful black walnuts. So, really nice, peace, peaceful area up here. So we're just going to go right across by this brush pile and um, and put the decoys up. So, all right. So we got the decoys just kind of spaced out here. There's no real secret to this. Just kind of space them out. Um, here's the uh, the e-collar. It's a little um, Fox Pro Inferno. Works good. Um, there's your remote. So predator call, bird calls, kind of everything mixed in. Uh, real nice to have that all in one. So we'll stick this back in here. Cover it up a little bit. Something about like that. All right, so we're set up, getting ready to turn the e-collar on. Uh, loaded up, not primed yet. I'll turn the e-collar on, but I think I hear somebody over there. Hear a shotgun, three shots going off, and I hear crows kind of everywhere. All right, so we've selected crows. And just get that volume up. Oops. And it usually doesn't take too long. There's one. Well, it looks like he might be decoying. Got him. I got him. We'll walk back there and see. Way too much primer. Okay. Let's go again. Take it off mute.
So let's give it another try. Some people say not to shoot the, um, the scout. And that's definitely what he was. Because there's a roost and a feed that way. And he came from that way. But um, there's another one way up there coming this way. He's really high. Right off the end of the barrel. I don't know if you can see him up there. Well, we've only been here 10 minutes, maybe 15. And we've already got one, but no sign of anything since that shot, except for the high ones. And that one's still up there, circling around, almost like a buzzard. It might be a, a, a juvenile buzzard because he's, he's not big, but he's, he's high and circling. So, I'm just going to hang here for a minute. What I like to do is have the e-collar on for maybe five, six, seven minutes and then turn it off. Turn it off for, uh, for about the same amount of time, five minutes or so. And then turn it back on, a little different volume. And my e-collar also has... Um, fighting crows it's got a uh, crow uh, crow fighting hawk so you got the screeching hawk in the middle and because crows and hawks are mortal enemies um, sometimes that'll pull them in to, to you know watch the title bout here he comes here he comes come on boy come on boy He didn't like it. He came within 50 yards. So he went up, landed in a tree over there, and he's talking to us. So we're gonna s switch it to crow fight for a second. If he makes another pass, it'll probably be lower. We still got her on half cock. Real important. As you're shouldering, then you put it to full cock. Just like on the range, just like in practice. Don't try to get ahead of yourself and, and be ready by having it on full cock. It's the last thing you need. And I rarely get any come in from behind me. For no other reason, there's a small country road right behind me that my driveway turns off. It's not very heavily trafficked, but it's a quarter mile behind me. But this way, it's about five miles to the next road. Maybe not quite that far. It's quite a ways. So this is kind of almost like a big game preserve back there some pasture land but mostly woods there's a plateau on the hill it's got a, a, a pasture on top but that's the beauty of hunting on the farm here is there's just nothing behind me yeah perfect V Heading south. That's awesome.
That was pretty far. Ugh. Well, boys, not much of a day. Got a few shots at one. Got one over there. We'll walk back and find that one. Been sitting out here all day watching the doves and uh, watching the birds, watching the bluebirds and the mockingbirds. And uh, that sound you hear right now, that's the um, uh, crows fighting and uh, hawk somewhere. And I was able to pull a bunch of them off that hill. But I think what we're going to have to do is set up on top of the hill. Because I think their roost is up there. But we'll give it a few more minutes. I got up and I'm standing by the deer stand. Um, up against the woods. I should be camouflaged okay. But we're going to give it a few more minutes. And then we'll shut her down. And go find that uh, Go find that crow that I winged earlier and uh, and call it a day so I think we're about done all right fellas so we're back from the crow hunt I did find that one crow somehow I didn't you know the the GoPro up here I reached up to click it when I went up there to, to find it and and it didn't come on so I had about 40 clips. I went through it when I came to that po point where I was going to go get the uh, get the crow and and uh, on film, and I didn't have that clip, so messed that one up. But all in all, slow day. You know, sometimes the game isn't as much the the quarry is spending the day out, black powder gun, sitting in a cornfield, sitting on the edge of a field watching the birds go by. I love hearing everything and the sounds they make, hearing the crows, hear, hearing all of it, hearing the mockingbirds up there. Uh, we have tons of hawks, so I saw two or three hawks. Um, you know, just that that's what it's all about. It's about getting out with your black powder guns, hunting, yes, helping conservation, putting meat in the freezer, all that stuff, yes, but getting out there, Getting out of the city, getting off your block, getting away from traffic, getting out there and seeing Mother Nature firsthand. You know, I know most of you guys do that. Some of you guys I know because I've talked to you, live in apartments in the city, all of that stuff. Make it a point. Take a weekend. Take a Saturday. Go out. Even if you can't take your guns. Go somewhere, go to a park, go to a state park, whatever. Find you a, a hiking trail that you can get on. If, 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 if that's all you have, you know, that, that stuff is fantastic. Get it down that trail, find you a rock or something to sit on. Do it during the week if you can, because then you, there's nobody out there. And sit down. And, and if you're not a hunter, you're, you're not going to know this, but it takes about an hour. When you get out in the woods, it takes about an hour of sitting down and being still for nature to come back to life. So everything's afraid, the squirrels hide, you know, the birds fly away, everything. And that's why going deer hunting, you gotta sit in that stand for an hour. I get there an hour before uh, first light because I want by first light, when the squirrels start waking up, the birds start waking up, I want to have been there long enough that they're, they're no longer thinking of me. So get out there, enjoy nature, yeah. take your camera, take pictures of birds. You know, if you catch a squirrel, if you catch, you know, any little critters running around, take pictures of them, listen to them, listen to the sounds they make. That's the other half of this. This is one half. The other half is getting out there, getting off the couch, getting off the computer, getting off ALR, getting off muzzleloader.com and getting out there and doing it firsthand. Because if you've heard a hawk, if you've heard a hawk and a crow fighting, if you've seen a hawk sitting in a stand, you've seen a hawk swoop within seven or eight feet of you and snag that squirrel that you were watching, run up the tree, pack a nut in the hole, come down, scrounge around, find another one, chip, 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 when he found one, all excited, back up the tree. If you've watched that happen and then a hawk swoops in and takes him, those are the kind of things that, that are priceless. So anyway, Sorry it's been so long since the last video. 
Um, we're kind of shifting gears here. I'll still do, I've got a list of, of how to's and tutorials and, and, and new shooter series stuff. We're set up for winter for some building stuff and, and, but we're shifting into hunting season. And so you're going to see the hunting playlist, which is empty right now, start to fill up with some fun stuff. And, and they're going to be a little different than what you're used to seeing on the channel, which is more sort of professor, you know, I'm not calling myself a professor, but you know what I mean, professor in front of the camera, kind of going over this, helping you out with that, talking about locks, talking about powders, you know, some range stuff. Yeah. But, but it's pretty structured where this hunting stuff is going to be more like, um, a vlog. So you'll see me, you'll go with me, you'll be on, on my hat, you'll see what I see and I'll be talking when I can talk and quiet when I can, when I have to be quiet. And, and so you'll just be kind of going along for the ride. So that'll be a little different format, but a very similar, um, sort of vibe. And you saw me in, in my modern camo. It, it, it's hard for me to get out of that. I've spent the last month in it. And, um, and so it'll kind of fade away, you know, Turkey, I wear it, but, but some of the other stuff, it's jeans and, and one of my old, um, pullover, you know, rifleman shirt type of thing. So, you know, there'll, there'll be a little bit of all of it, a little bit of everything mixed in. Um, I mentioned earlier about, uh, Bob McBride films, my other YouTube channel that I'm starting up. I finished up the first video on that. It's a deer hunt, an archery deer hunt, a little introduction and an archery deer hunt fail, you know? So it was a, and I'll, I'll tell you guys up front, go over and look at it. It was a miss. It was a long shot and it was close, but it was a miss. So, um, that video is going up probably in the morning at the same time, this one. So you watch this video, take a look over there, see what that's all about. It's going to be hunting country, everything, but black powder. So we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe. See ya.